Hi and welcome to this short tutorial which will show you how to do terrain in Google SketchUp. Now the tools that you need to create terrain aren't there by default in Google SketchUp so the first thing that you're going to actually have to do is find and activate those and that's quite easy to do. Uh, you just go to window and then preferences and then make sure you click the extensions option which is there already for me and then there's an option there that says sandbox tools you might have to scroll down to find it and then click sandbox tools and OK and what you might find is that nothing seems to happen um, and that's because sometimes you might have to close the program and reload it to get the tools to appear so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to just pause the video while I reload Google SketchUp and then we'll pick it up again okay so I've reloaded Google SketchUp and you can see now that at the top I've got a bunch of tools which I can use to create my terrain and the one that we're going to use to start with is this second tool here which is from scratch allows us to just create terrain from nothing so if I click this tool and then what I need to do is draw a flat area of ground that I'm going to use to make my terrain so I start here and I'm going to move it along kind of the left so along the green axis to show kind of how deep I want the terrain to be. Click and then drag the mouse left and then that's quite big enough I think and then I'll just click there and then I've made my terrain. So at the moment obviously not much to that it's just a flat area of squares much like just a series of rectangles so we actually need to turn that into something we can edit as a, as a piece of terrain. So what I'm going to do is edit, I'm going to select, in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the, uh, get rid of the person, I'm going to get edit and select all and then right click and then choose the explode option and you can see now, I don't know if you could tell but there's sort of lines have appeared across there and it's gone dot in, we've, we've used the explode tool to turn that into kind of separate little areas. Now if I just click now anywhere on my grid you can see that hopefully that I can select an individual square and that's kind of how we're going to build our terrain. Let's just use the orbit tools to to, to make that a bit clearer. If I click on any individual square you can see that it kind of appears with a dotted pattern so I'm going to click on that center one let's put a hill right in the middle and I'm going to use this tool here which is the smooth tool so I click smooth and then I move my pointer over the square I selected before and just click and drag up and I've created a hill and what I can basically do is create as many bumps and contours and, and areas as I want to so I'm going to click on small areas over here in fact I'm going to use my orbit tool just to turn turn the terrain round so I can do it easier and I'm going to do a multi so I'm selecting more than one I want these four squares and then I can make a dip there so I've got quite a bumpy area of terrain there you can just do do one little bit I'm going to use the hand tool just to move it over and let's just create another little area of hill over here and obviously you can do as much or as little as you like and the smooth tool again there we are and then we've created now a basic area of terrain now what we want to do is obviously we we want that doesn't look much like terrain at the moment so we want to smooth it all out and we want to turn it into something that looks like a landscape so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go edit and select all again and then edit and then at the bottom you can see there it says 2160 entities and that's talking about all the different aspects of the of the terrain that I've created and so what I need to do is I need to go to here and choose this option so I go to the bottom option where it tells you 
by the entities and go to the soften or smooth edges tool there now click that and then you you can see what's happened there it's smoothed out smoothed over the contours the hills and the valleys on my landscape and using this tool I can drag and that will have depending on the kind of landscape you've done you can see it has kind of a different effect on the terrain that you've created so I'm just going to leave it like that I'm not bothered about these flat areas around here um, and that's done now the last step now is straightforward I want to color that I want to make it actually look like a landscape so I'm going to go back to my paint bucket tool the fill tool and then the materials box appears and probably what you want here is the vegetation option you could have water or wood but I'm I suppose if you were going to put uh, trying to create like a, a, a sea landscape you could do water but I'm going to do vegetation and then from there I'm going to use one of the built-in ones I'm going to go for grass and then I just click over my landscape and there we go so I've created an area of grassland and you notice it's done all the textures and the lighting and fat and things are realistic and it's done those for you so those are the steps necessary to create a piece of terrain in Google SketchUp don't forget to switch on the sandbox tool to get all of these things to work if you need to watch the video again then that's absolutely fine and you might want to play it step by step as you repeat each stage that I do so good luck building terrain in Google SketchUp and see how you get on